The COVID-19 epidemic is causing many people to pray and to cry out to God on behalf of loved ones who are sick. And yet it doesn't appear that the Lord is responding to their needs. You know, we would not be the first people to cry out to God in urgency, only to have him receive our message and delay responding to it. The Bible tells us about Mary and Martha. They sent word to Jesus one day on behalf of their brother Lazarus. This is what they said. The one whom you love is sick. They made their appeal to Jesus on the basis of his love for Lazarus. Now we would expect Jesus to make an immediate response to such a request, but he didn't. Instead, the scripture tells us that when Jesus received that message, he stayed where he was for two more days. He was giving Lazarus time to die. He was giving Mary and Martha time to cry their heart out and grieve over the loss of their brother. When Jesus did arrive, both Mary and Martha said the same thing. If you had been here, our brother would not have died. What they're saying is that this crisis could have been averted because you received word from us, you knew it was urgent, you could have come, but you didn't. Now it's too late. Jesus then tells Martha, Lazarus will rise again, to which she responds, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Martha doesn't entertain the possibility that Lazarus could be raised now. No, resurrection, that'll be the last day. Our Lord's response is quite amazing, but he's going to say that the resurrection and the last day will happen because I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus is saying that the death of Lazarus is not the final act. There will be a resurrection on the last day. And like Mary and Martha, there are people sending their prayer requests to the Lord on behalf of their sick friends, etc. But Jesus is slow to come and these people die. Now, if Jesus could speak to these grieving families, what do you think he might say? I have no doubt he would say this. I am the resurrection and the life. He would be saying to them that the loved ones who have died in Christ Jesus will be raised to life at the end of this world on the last day and they will receive a glorified body like that which the resurrected Christ has. And they will be with the Lord forever. You see, death, though painful and sorrowful and causes grief, death is not the final word. Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, he has the final word.